The next film I watched was a really wonderful documentary. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was because this is from 1965. Um, could have been anything at that point, you know. This is called The Love Goddesses, and it's by Saul J. Terrell, and it's really looking mostly at a, um, Western depictions of sex in, by Western I mean European and American, depictions of sex in um, cinema. Tracing from The Kiss, the silent film The Kiss, um, all the way through, not The Kiss, the Greta Garbo one, but the, you know, ancient cinema one. <laughs> Sorry, um, the 18, you know, 80s kiss all the way through Edison. There we go, the Edison kiss all the way through um, the end. The most recent films on there are looking at Marilyn Monroe, who had obviously just passed, and Sophia Loren. Um, didn't even really get to, you know, like Jane Fonda because had, we hadn't gotten that far into the 60s yet. But it was an interesting look at how cinema started out salacious and started out salacious and started out having the like virgin whore with the good girl like Dorothy Gish and the vamps and then how the 20s got more and more with the the um like bath scenes but then you also had someone like Greta Gar or not Greta Garbo Clara Bow who was a little frisky but like also put a ring on it and then you got to the 30s and it was really all about sex 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 and Mae West and all those pre-code films and then you got to the 40s and you had the girl next door, but she was still very sexy, just, you know, in tight sweaters. And then you had the 50s and then you get to the 60s. In the 50s, 60s, you had foreign films, like, bringing more and more boobs into the cinema. And its way of tracing the the waves of, of um, both good popularity of good girls and um, bad girls and the way in which sex was always there just sort of displayed differently I thought was really fascinating and it's it's sort of a little tidbit about Marilyn Monroe I thought was astonishing uh, so I was really not expecting this to be as insightful and balanced especially because it was written by a bunch of dudes the one thing it's missing is um, a mixture of of non-white sex you know goddesses they had they talked about um um, what is his name? I'm going to mess it up. Uh, Ses Sesu Hayakawa, but they didn't talk about, you know, like Anna Mae Wong or Josephine Baker or any of these, um, you know, sex sirens who were not white women. So that was a little unfortunate. But other than that, I thought it was a really nuanced look at the male gaze before that was even a, a phrase. And, and just the um, way in which sex is packaged in, in, in Euro-American cinema. I just really blown away. Um, it also gave me a whole bunch of films that I hadn't seen. And I was like, oh, need to see that one, need to see that one. So now I've got to track those down. So this was a good documentary. I don't think it's on DVD or anything. You, you can watch it on a Criterion channel. And I think maybe it's included in the Essential Art House, which is $500. So good luck finding that. Um, so definitely watch it if you've got the chance. Uh, it's it's interesting and highlights the fact that cinema was always kind of sexy. It just depends on how much skin they could show. But it was still, you know, all about sex. And it's always been all about sex. Because that's sex sells, that's cinema. Um, yep, so this was the, the Love Goddesses. I thought it was quite good.